today's episode is all about beef. Not the beef that you find in Taco Bell inside their tacos that makes you go to the bathroom for like 10 hours. I'm talking about beefing up my offensive line. We'll get to that in a second. But first, I'm going to open up two Lombardi packs and a Madden bonus pack. Now, in the last episode, you guys did see me get a Ray Lewis uh, collectible from these things. And I did see your comments. I did realize that that card, that collectible actually goes into the Ray Lewis collection, which gives you like 25K. So that's free coins right there. And that is what I'm going to do right now. You guys see all these collection collectibles that I have. And there goes the Ray Lewis one, which I'm about to insert into his collection. You guys see I get 25K. Not only that, but also a pro pack. So there I go. I'm going to insert that in. And there goes my free pro pack, which I know I'm not going to get anything out of it. So I'm just going to reveal all. And we get, oh my God. Ha, pathetic. Goes to the past and star Latulali. All right, I know I said that wrong, but it doesn't matter. So as we move on, the first step in improving my offensive line is going to be this beast right here, Larry Allen. I know he's a Cowboys player. I shouldn't be calling him a beast, but hey, at the end of the day, he's still a beast, right? So I have to put my fan, me being a Redskins fan, my biased opinion of Cowboys players. I have to put that aside if I'm trying to improve my team. So there goes Larry Allen. He's going to be next to Jonathan Ogden. And then the three guys Bring next to them are not as play. good as them. First so we definitely have to improve toss. those guys as here well. He uh, so here goes Great my opponent. Out. The first game that we're going to be playing. He has LaShawn McCoy. I don't know which version this is. He also has Warren Moon. So you guys see early on, he's handing the ball off a lot. And there goes, I think, Barry Sanders. Oh, no, that's Walter Payton. Uh, on third and five. Warren moves, steps back. Ugh. That was that was a nasty pass right there. So he's going for it. Fourth and five almost gets intercepted by Lawrence Taylor. So already I'm taking over here at 35-yard line. Let's go. Barry picks up five yards. I notice there's a one-on-one -on -one coverage on the right side of the field. Deshaun Jackson goes in, bring out the red carpet. I'm already up 7-0. And then I, you know, I'm trying to kick the extra point here. The game gets paused. I'm like, no. No, 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 he wasn't ready, no! Your peer has quit the game already, already. It didn't take us long to get our first victory of the episode. So here comes the second game of the day. My opponent is, uh, he is returning the ball with T.Y. Hilton. So I, I can already tell he has those quick receivers. T.Y. Hilton, your Percy Harvin. I think that, that might have been Percy Harvin that returned the ball. But he also has 99 AP who was giving me that work early on in the game. He's going with the screenplay. I read this one. Stop him, and he gets stopped. Second and 17. Oh, T.Y. Hilton almost got that one-handed catch. On third and 17, he goes right back. This time, it is Percy Harvin. So he's forced to go for it. On fourth and six, he decides to go for it. Actually, he wasn't forced to go for it. But a completion to Adrian Peterson. And you see him breaking all kinds of tackles. The dude, let me just tell you this. He destroyed me in this possession. Third and 10, Joe Montana. Another completion to uh, Adrian Peterson. And he's going to go for it once again. This time he converts again. Two times he went for it on fourth down. Both of them he got it. So here he is at the goal line. I need to, I need to get a stop here at the goal line. Second and goal at the three-yard line. Joe Montana throws a pick. This is Brian Dawkins. And he could take this one to the house, the crowd. What are they doing? Stand up and cheer for your boy. He steps in. He actually jumped in to the end zone. And that has to hurt right there. If that was me, if I drove all the way to my opponent's three-yard line and threw a pick six, I would be pissed. I would turn off my console, my console, and call it a night. I would read myself a bedtime story. I would not ask someone to read me a bedtime story. I would read myself a bedtime story and call it a night. But here's my opponent. He's responding pretty well here. And uh, he dropped the ball, although he dropped the ball with T.Y. Hilton. He came back out here on third and goal. Steps all the way back. I don't know how he did this. But Adrian Peterson popped out of nowhere, got that catch, and stepped in for the game-tying touchdown. Now, I noticed I had a pretty decent amount of time to do something before the half ended. So, completion right here to Shannon Sharp. He steps out of bounds. So, now I don't really have to call my timeout. So, here goes Barry Sanders. Ah, he tripped up. 
If he never tripped up, uh, that one, that one could have been, could have went for more. So I noticed Victor Cruz right up the middle. He gets hurt, so that's gonna suck if he doesn't come back in. But Barry Sanders does secure a first down right here. 21 seconds. The clock is ticking. Shannon Sharp goes in for the touchdown. If you guys not know, I am getting the ball back in the second half. Joe Montana, a last-second prayer. What is going to happen here? This one is intercepted by Dominique Rogers Cromartie. Let's get a return. Dominique, go ahead, young fellow. He gets taken down. It's all good, though. I'm getting the ball back in the second half. RG3, he's going to, you know, continue where we left off. Play action. Oh, I, 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 I saw that. I saw that. And Shannon Sharp is just doing his thing today. It's yet another reception. Now I'm escaping pressure. Ah, I was trying to slide there. But luckily, Arch 3 hung on to the ball. First down right there by Barry Sanders. It just seems like he's been doing this all game long. Another handoff picks up about six yards. So on third and four, we go right back to him. If I just cut to the outside, maybe I could have taken that one home. But it's fine. My vision is not there yet, but Barry Sanders once again picks up four. Second and six, another first down. So you guys can tell we're already in the fourth quarter. My opponent did not even touch the ball yet. So here you guys do see, I thought I went in for a touchdown right there, but the refs do not agree. Handoff to Mike Tolbert, and that is good. So 21 to seven, I just took the entire second half out of the picture for him. He does get the ball back in about 30 seconds. You never know. You never know what might happen here. But I just don't know why he's even handing it off to Adrian Peterson. I know that's his only answer. But you can't do that when you're down by two touchdowns. He stays inbounds here. He has zero timeouts left. Joe Montana. This one is over. A good game. It was a good game to start out with, but ever since that pick six, my opponent was not the same. A pretty good defensive stand right here by my team. We did it. 21-7. Joe Montana has been defeated. So, when I went back into the main menu, I decided to open up a few packs. Uh, I've received tweets. I've received comments. And everyone agrees my luck has not been good whatsoever. And uh, I agree with that. I agree. Uh, I do not remember the last time I was excited from opening up a pack. But I do keep trying. I don't give up. Uh, hopefully, we land something big soon. I don't know. So, I'm just going to open up a few packs here with the coins that I have left. Uh, I think this is going to be the last one. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Silver top card, Larry Fitzgerald. That's the rookie edition. I don't need that. A few bronze and we get Michael Bennett. Now, I... Uh, I was gonna get excited but I checked the auctions and this one is 2k I thought that is probably I thought it was gonna be more than that but what what is 2k what, what is 2k coins gonna get me so once again the highlight of this video is Larry Allen next thing I'm gonna try to improve is the next weakness on my offensive line which is Evan Mathis this is 92 overall also ultimate legend there's a brand new one Gene Upshaw I think I have most of the collectibles for this collection but I'm still trying to stay patient and try, I, I don't know, I really want to land a, a bigger ultimate legend, like maybe a wide receiver in the future. I don't know, I'm still holding on to my collectibles. Also, Chris Carter and Reggie White are ultimate legends. You can't do collections for those, you just have to pull them out of packs. Now, this card right here, these are the round two of the golden tickets. Brian Finneran. Now, you guys see his stats. My oh my, 97 speed, 100 catching in traffic. 101 spectacular catch and the dude is six foot seven i've never seen stats like that in my life they also have ben roethlisberger golden ticket like i said this is round two of golden tickets there's obviously four athletes uh randall cunningham this looks pretty interesting and since there's all these good quarterbacks now i think the michael vick price is gonna drop so i don't know i might try to get michael vick soon and last but not least Lashawn mccoy so that's two eagles players uh, that have a golden ticket. You look at his stats, man. I'm I'm done. Uh, this is too much. Hopefully, I can get him. They get this card soon as well. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, it's your boy onto the boss, and I am signing out. If you haven't done so, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com/slash onto the boss. Once you're on Twitter, I will keep you guys updated when I will be uploading my videos. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that follow button.